guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So Teacher Appreciation Week is coming up right around the corner. It's May 6th through May 10th. And I saw this really cool teacher gift idea on TikTok and I wanted to tweak it a bit and share it with you. I am super excited because this project is super cute. So we are going to make an adorable gift basket that your teacher will definitely remember. I bought this trash can from Five Below and it comes in many colors. However, when I bought this one, it only came in black. So I spray painted it white and next we are going to use our Cricut and I'm going to use white sticker paper. I'm actually using Gotega, which is what I had on hand, but you can use any white sticker paper. So, so over in Cricut Design Space, I just selected new project and I wanted to make a template about the same size and shape as the trash can that is actually going to be our mega giant Starbucks cup. So I just inserted a square and let's just drag it over here. And I am going to make this square white. So we're just gonna go over here to colors and change this to white. Next, we need to go to more and I need to unlock the sizes. And I'm going to make the width about seven and the height nine. I measured from the bottom to the top, but I did not measure it with the lid on it. And I actually, let me see, I meant to put nine. So this will be one side of the big giant coffee mug. And then this will be the other side. So let's drag this over. So I took the template, I took the Starbucks template and if you drag it over here and you see that it goes behind your template, you'll just select arrange, bring to front. So now that's on the front. So that's what that'll look like. And then this is already a print and cut. It says right here, print and cut. So this will already print just like a sticker. So you don't have to do anything for that. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna move this over here. We're not gonna keep the templates. We're just using them just as a template. So the next thing I did was I took this one as well. This was the size obviously that I wanted to use. Next, since you don't want it to print just like that, you want it to have a sticker behind it, we insert a shape and we're going to do square and then we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to go ahead and hit change it to white and then we're going to go to more and we need to unlock it. And now we're just going to kind of stretch it out and then let's drag this over here. And then since it is in front of it, we are going to hit arrange, send to back. Okay. And then let's just finish kind of arranging this. Okay. And then I'm going, let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just hit duplicate. And then just, that's perfect. We'll leave that right there for now. I'm going to go ahead and select both of these and then align and center because I want that to be perfectly centered in between that sticker. And then we hit attached and then flatten. So now this one is all set to be a sticker and then I was gonna place it, you know, like right here. But again, this is just a template. So we're not gonna print that. And then we're going to just drag this one over and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the Starbucks. So let's bring this over here and we need to do a range, bring the front. We're gonna go here and just kind of position it to fit. And then same thing, we're just gonna select both of the items, hit align, center, then attach and flatten. So that one is set as well. And then for this one, I just did the same thing. I just inserted a shape and I looked at what the receipt or the order, I'm not really sure what you call this, but I looked at it online, what it looked like, and I just kind of followed what it looked like. And then you just do the exact same thing. You insert the text and then you hit attached and then print then cut. And then that will 
make it into a sticker format and then you just measure how it is maybe you want it to be really big maybe you want it to be super small it doesn't matter and that was all that I did so one thing before we print if you'll notice here this one says it has the little triangle with the exclamation point and it says that this is low resolution and this image will print poorly so a lot of times that may pop up and it may be true it may not be true in this case I printed this and it looked great so this one sometimes it does say that and it really the quality it just depends on the image in this specific case it looks great because I want it to be bigger I didn't want that to be smaller so let me show you something so let me hit duplicate okay so I went ahead and I hit duplicate so if you just go in here and you get a little bit smaller then it goes away it's usually it's because it's better quality it prints better quality when it's smaller but I had it this size and I printed and it looks the same so to me I rather have it bigger for my project so that's just however you guys want so basically all I'm saying is when you get this you just need to test it out first and print it to copy paper see how it looks if you're okay with it then you can keep it that size otherwise to get rid of that you would just make it smaller so next we're gonna hit make it and if you'll see here on the left it eight and a half by 14 which my sticker paper is eight and a half by 11 so I need this to be eight and a half by 11 as well so I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to take this logo and select it and you'll get the three dots so we're going to click on that and we're going to move this object and we're going to hit the plus so we just added that to a separate piece of paper and we're going to scroll down and then now we need to change that paper to eight and a half by 11. So let's select material size and then eight and a half by 11. So we're going to select the first one as well and we're going to hit the material size, change it to eight and a half by 11. So now both of these should be eight and a half by 11 and they are so next we're going to hit continue and we're going to send it to your color printer and we're going to pl place the sticker paper in the color printer in my case with the sticker paper i'm using if you were to hold the sticker paper and take just a section on the top and pull it back and determine which side the sticker pulls off the part that is the sticker that part will be faced down in your printer. And this is just how it is for me. Everyone's may be different, but you'll put that part facing down. And then we're going to hit send to printer. And I'm going to turn the bleed off. And then I'm going to use system dialog. I'm gonna turn that on. And I like that because when you hit print, it'll take you directly to your printing preferences. So let's hit print. And because we are going to use this as a gift and you want it to look super nice, you always want to choose the best option for printing. So that is why we are going to the printing preferences. We're going to change it to high quality. So we are going to select preferences here. And then you don't want to select plain paper because you're using sticker paper and it's a nicer quality you want to change it to matte paper and so when I switch that it automatically changes the print quality to high and then you'll just want to make sure it's on color and not grayscale and then I always just unselect all of these we're gonna hit OK and then we're gonna hit print so now that it came off the printer we're going to go ahead and place the sticker paper on the mat and then what i like to select for the material to cut is just laser paper because it is pretty much the same texture almost so i'm just going to select that and then we're going to go ahead and load it on the mat and we're going to cut it Okay, so here is 
the extra large cup, which is actually the trash can. Remember we spray painted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and here is everything that I need and it's on the white sticker paper. So we're gonna just go ahead and add it. Okay, so this is just right there and then right directly behind it will be the other part. We're gonna place this right here, just like so. And we're gonna do the Starbucks right next to it. So it's just like this. And then we have this, the little ticket. So we're gonna take this off and do this just like right here. Okay, so see, we have this so far, okay? So I bought a bunch of different stuff to put inside the gift basket and along with a gift card and I made a really cool Starbucks mug as well and I just took shredded paper and you place it inside the gift basket and then you just arrange all the items that you want to give to the teacher and this is just so adorable you guys. I hope you guys like this project. I saw this and thought it was so 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 cute so hopefully mine turned out just as cute as the one I saw on TikTok. Anyway, you just keep adding a bunch of different items and then you'll place the lid on top. And then I just wrapped it with cellophane and I took a heat gun and melted it around the base and just added a bow. And I also made a really cute gift tag and that's it. So I think this is so cute. It's so different. It's original and creative. And I hope you guys like this video. If you don't already subscribe, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and the like button and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.